Hi everyone. Step aboard a ship that once symbolized power and prestige, the Assault A91. Built in 1949, this distinguished vessel was commissioned for the personal use of General Francisco Franco, the head of the Spanish state. Since we've mentioned General Francisco Franco, let's take a moment to talk about the man himself, so you can better understand his personality and historical role. Francisco Franco Bahamond was a Spanish military officer, a key figure in the military leadership that orchestrated the 1936 coup d'etat against the democratic government of the Second Spanish Republic, leading to the outbreak of the Spanish Civil War. On October 1, 1936, he was proclaimed the supreme leader of the nationalist faction, hailed as El Caudillo by his supporters. Franco ruled as head of state from the end of the conflict in 1939 until his death in 1975, and also served as prime minister from 1938 to 1973. His regime was marked by deeply centralized control over Spain, shaping the nation's history for nearly four decades. The Azor was a floating stronghold of authority, witnessing key moments in Spain's history. With a refined blend of military functionality and presidential luxury, it served as Franco's maritime retreat and a stage for political encounters. But what made this vessel so unique? Let's take a closer look at its design and transformation over the years. The Assault was a product of the renowned Bassan shipyards, designed to replace Franco's previous, smaller yacht, the Otherine. Constructed with a steel hull for durability and enhanced stability at sea, this 1,949 built vessel measured 135 feet in length, later extended to 151 feet after a major refit. This modification, carried out between 1959 and 1960, significantly improved its seaworthiness by inserting a 16-foot midsection between the bridge and the funnel. Originally, the Assault was equipped with two converted harpoon cannons, a 46mm Nordenfeldt-derived piece and a 20mm cannon, though their performance proved unsatisfactory. By 1955, these were replaced by a 50mm Fangst Cannon M42 harpoon cannon, a Norwegian manufactured weapon by Kongsberg Vapenfabrik, which remained in service until the 1970s. Other modifications included the replacement of the original engines with more powerful models, a redesigned bow for improved hydrodynamics, and an updated superstructure. The ship's mast was also altered, replacing the initial tripod design with a taller and more compact mast, enhancing both function and aesthetics. But beyond its design, it was the events that unfolded aboard this ship that solidified its place in history. Aboard the Assault, Franco spent time with his closest allies, discussing state affairs away from prying eyes. His passion for fishing, particularly tuna, made the ship a frequent presence along the Spanish coast. One of the most unusual moments in its history occurred in 1958, when Franco managed to catch a cetacean, an event that became widely discussed among those who followed his maritime outings. After Franco's death in 1975, the Assault remained in pristine condition under the care of the Spanish Navy, though its days of influence were numbered. The ship, once an exclusive retreat for Spain's most powerful man, was now little more than a relic of a bygone era. Despite its dwindling significance, the Assault was still used on rare occasions. In 1984, King Juan Carlos I inspected the fleet from its deck, a symbolic moment marking Spain's transition to democracy. However, its most controversial voyage came in 1985, when Prime Minister Felipe González took the yacht on a summer cruise from Rota to Lisbon. The trip ignited public outrage, as many saw it as an inappropriate use of a vessel. 
Minister Felipe Gonzalez justified his actions by stating that the vessel belonged to the state's heritage, implying that any citizen had the same right to use it. One man decided to put this claim to the test. Francisco de Paula Sanchez, a civil servant working in Burgos, formally requested permission to use the Azor for his own vacation. His request was ignored, but his bold move did not go unnoticed. Shortly after his appeal became public, he was forcibly reassigned to a position in Barcelona, a clear sign that challenging authority came with consequences. However, Sanchez refused to accept his transfer without a fight. He took the case to court, and in a dramatic turn of events, the judges ruled in his favor, proving that not everyone could enjoy the privileges of the Assaw quite as easily as Gonzalez had suggested. Despite its later years of abandonment, the Assaw was once a vessel of luxury and refinement. Its interior was richly decorated with exquisite hardwoods, creating an atmosphere of prestige and exclusivity. Interestingly, Francisco Franco and his wife, Carmen Polo, maintain separate cabins, a rare glimpse into their personal life aboard the yacht. Even as its political significance faded, the Assault found an unexpected role in cinema. Renowned Spanish satirist Albert Bodella used the ship as a filming location for his movie Buen Viaje, Excelencia, a dark comedy that portrayed the final days of Franco's life. This ironic use of the former dictator's yacht in a satirical film about his downfall marked a symbolic moment, transforming a once powerful vessel into a stage for critical reflection on Spain's past. By April 30, 1992, the Assault was officially decommissioned and left to languish in Ferrol, awaiting its fate. Later that year, it was sold at state auction for 4,670,124 pesetas to a private buyer, Lazaro Gonzalez. But rather than scrapping it, as stipulated in the contract, Gonzalez envisioned a bold transformation, turning the former presidential yacht into a floating entertainment venue. Despite strong financial backing, his ambitious plans were ultimately thwarted by bureaucratic roadblocks, preventing the ship from ever setting sail again. With no future at sea, the Assault met an even stranger fate. It was cut into three pieces and transported inland to Cogolos, Burgos, where it was reassembled as part of a planned hotel complex. The cabins, once used by Franco himself, were meant to be repurposed into luxury suites. But like the previous attempt, this venture never materialized. The ship sat abandoned for years, gradually falling into decay and vandalism, a ghostly shadow of its former grandeur. Then, in an unexpected twist, the Assault found new life, not as a yacht, but as a work of art. In late 2011, artist Fernando Sanchez Castillo purchased the vessel, repurposing it into an artistic statement on power, history, and memory. From a floating symbol of dictatorship to a neglected artifact, and finally, to an artistic installation, the Assault has lived many lives, each reflecting a different chapter of Spain's turbulent past. Thanks for watching.